Hello everybody and welcome to Iron Deck. I'm your host, Dr. Pete. We're going back to the murders at Karlov Manor. Collector's box. And uh, finally got my new boxes in, obviously, which is why I'm opening them for you guys. And um, I don't know, the set kind of got lukewarm, didn't it? Like people are just not as excited as they were when, when this first came out. But I don't know, I think it, it's always tough to like, be into a standard set, you know, right after a really good kind of eternal set comes out. I thought Ravnica was an excellent set um, and <clears throat> the Ravnica remastered. And I think it's, I don't know, I think it's uh, just kind of like a little less overwhelming. Like you're, you're not gonna pull a triple neon um, uh, 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 mana crypt or, you know, these like super special shock lands or anything. So I think, that might be what's just kind of throwing some people off a little. And I don't know, because I think it's a fun set. Uh, I've been playing it on the uh, arena. I know, thumbs down for arena. But right now that's my source of standard play because I don't go to the store for that. So hide in plain sight. Uh, the audience with Trustiani. Unexplained absence, that's kind of cool artwork. And a hunted bone brute and a foil. Steam Core Scholar. So, not the most exciting first pack. That looks pretty cool. Wind Wisp Drinker Vampire. Okay. Well, we're not going to waste time on a lot of the uh, commons and uncommons. Just kind of show them all to you. And there we go. So, there's pack number one. Not the spiciest pack, but we got 11 more to go. And I think we'll get there. All right. Doorkeeper Thrall. A Delaney Mythic Streetwise Lookout. Oh, Double Mythic, Nelly Borka. Lamplight Phoenix. Ezram Agency Chief. And our uh, double tap on the uncommons, our land. And, oh, this, uh, this has been seeing play, Polygraph Orb. That's a fun card. Ah, I love opening packs. And I hope you guys like watching them. If you do, please like, comment, subscribe, all that other good stuff. We appreciate it. Fabricate, that's cool. Mythic. Sharp-eyed rookie. Oh, I like that artwork. Foreboding steamboat. That looks cool. Oh, hey, Leyline of the Guild Pack. I'm a fan of that card. Probably gonna come up with some, some kind of shenanigans with that. Rampage. And our uncommons and the rest of that pack. All righty. These packs are easier to open. They, f they feel easier to open at least. Oh, that's cool. Not, not a hidden, hidden ink card, but uh, Etrata, Deadly Fugitive. I think that's a very decent pull. Hedge Maze, I'm always a fan of the rare land cycles. Otherworldly Escort. A trip, a cryptic coat, and a cryptex, and a crawl whipcracker. Uncommon. Okay. I think it's a decent box so far. I think I think some of these mythics are a decent hit. Again, I don't really even I don't even really know what the home run cards are with a set yet, but we'll figure that out. Incinerator, Incinerator of the Guilty. I think that's a decent hit as well. Uh, Prisoner Dilemma. No witnesses. Reenact the crime. A deduce. A d -d deduce. Slime Against Humanity. I, I like that card too. You get a, a zero, zero ooze, and then you put X counters on it where X is two, plus the total number of cards you own in exile and in your graveyard that are oozes named Slime Against Humanity, and then you can have as many of these in your deck as you want. Pretty pretty funny card. I like it. And it's kind of cool because it, it's you, you are protected because it's also an exile. So you can have the card in your graveyard, someone can fare well, and it still counts. All right, Delaney, another foil mythic. Double tap on the Delaney there. Uh, Underground Mortuary, Watcher of Hours, Treacherous Greed. Another rare land cycle, and that's about it for that pack. 
halfway through the box, cruising right along. Ooh, that's pretty. Full art foil Kaya. Hello, Kaya. Good hit there. Ooh, oh, <laughs> double tap the Kaya. That's pretty. That should be uh, that should be the screen shot for this video. All right, we got a sleuth and a deadly cover-up and another phoenix. Okay, moving right along. You know, you, a lot of times you get a double tap and it's a card you don't want. You're like, oh, double tap rare, but at least, hey, double tap a mythic, that's not too shabby. All right, Rampage, Cranko, I think that's decent, I'm not sure. Follow the bodies. Steam Core Scholar, Venifar for the Mythic. And that was not a bad pack. Yeah. I mean I'm showing them. I, I don't I don't know if I'm supposed to be looking for anything in those, but it is what it is. Every now and then they seed it funny and they'll put, you know, a serialized card in there or some extra whatever. I don't know. Um, all right, Ezram. Agency Chief, Meticulous Archive, Morska, Mythic. Doing pretty good on the Mythics in his box. Axbane, a Bone Brute, and that's it for that pack. Three packs left. All right, well, you know, we are up to five. We're up to 10 Mythics so far. That's pretty darn good. Let's see if we can keep that going or get something even spicier. Haven't gotten a hidden ink card yet. Kylox for the rare. Uh, Center of the web. Mirko for another mythic. Illicit masquerade. A blood splatter analysis. That's a real thing, by the way. Um, during, in medical school, which I went to, um, there was a whole, uh, a whole class, you know, pathology, right? So in pathology, that also is the field of medicine that a medical examiner is in. And they came in and talked about how they'll, they can look at the spatter on the walls and they can look at the, at the shape of the droplet and then determine what angle uh, that droplet was going and what speed it was going at when it hit the wall. And then they put strings and they can figure out where the blood came from in the room in space. Uh, I think they were talking about an unfortunate case where somebody shot themselves and, uh, uh, they had to. They were able to determine that the person was in this position at this at this point in time. They they had to shoot themselves a couple of times. It was a pretty awful story, um, but they were able to tell one position was one shot, another position was another shot. And I know that's all pretty grim, but we're talking about the murders at Karlov Manor, so I figured you all can handle that. But yeah, true story. All right, hey, there's our hidden ink card. Aliquist, Proft, Master Sleuth. So beautiful, glossy um, artwork there. And then you can see here, but of course, handsome, genius. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a, cool, it's a cool little experiment that they're doing. And I, and I do like the uh, higher quality here. And it's also kind of extra glossy, kind of up in here. Uh, it's hard, kind of hard to show, but like the ribbon around here and everything, it's it's very beautiful card. All right. Are we going to get a serialized card in addition to all of this? We only have one pack left. All right. Let's see. So thanks again for watching, everybody. And we will definitely be getting some more of this product in. So stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. It costs you nothing. All right. Meticulous Archive. I think we're SOL on a serialized card. Commercial District. Test Sack. Reli relive the Past. Tenth District Hero. I think that's a good card. Um, and then our comments. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a great night and we'll see you next time.